Help support the companies that support our community. All right, I have two blocks of Bacote here. This is some more of that stuff I took out of the cabinet we got at the thrift store. So I'm gonna make a yo-yo today out of these two blocks. So I did a yo-yo video five, six years ago and, and Andrew just commented on it last week and asked me some questions and I wasn't sure and I went back and watched the video and I still wasn't sure. So we're gonna make another one and we're gonna be sure this time. So I'm gonna put them both in the chuck like that and drill a hole into it so we can get it mounted on the lathe. All right, just clamped it down a little bit. So I'm gonna use a 5 16 drill bit and I have my depth marked on it right there. We don't want to pop through the other side. Turn the lathe speed down. And we're going to use the bottle stopper mandrel to mount this on the lathe. I watched the video I did years ago and I couldn't remember how I mounted it on the lathe. And I was kind of just thinking about it, and I figured, well, this would be a much easier way to do it. So, we're going to do this. Both blocks are the same. These are 7 8 7 8 of, eight, seven eighths of an inch thick, and 2 and 3 quarter by 2 and 3 quarter. I'm going to bring them down to 2 and a half for a final, final size. Just need to get this hole drilled for first, and then we can use the bottle stopper mandrel to screw them right on. There we go. And then the mandrel goes right on and it has a flute cut in the side of it so you can thread it right on just like you would a bottle stopper blank just like that so you just make a few turns on it back it off clean all the threads out make sure it's all clean and just keep going until you get down to the bottom All right, have it screwed on there. I'm going to bring the tailstock up just to support it a little bit. This is my live center without the pen in the center. I don't want to have to clean up too much of that on the outside of it when I'm done. So we'll just put a little bit of pressure on it and crank the lathe speed up. Get it as close as I can here, and then we'll it up and I'm going to come in from the sides here so there isn't chip out. And I'm turning the lathe speed up to 3000 RPMs. on it still one right there I'm gonna keep going just get rid of that one little flat spot two of them and then we'll get the calipers out So, 
think both need to be the same size, same thickness, and the same diameter. So we want to make sure that we have them both. Now I'm going to make them two and a half. So I want to make sure that they're both identical. And so you kind of need to look at the profile here too when you're doing it. I think I'm going to bring that down a little bit more. Get a little bit sharp there. And just try and keep them close to the same weight. set on two and a half so that we can get it in the same so it's still a little bit big I'm just gonna keep working it down until we get there Now we can just start sanding it. I'm going to run through all of the grits here real quick. I'm going to start out with uh, 120 and turn the lathe speed down. I'm going to turn the dust collector on too, and but I'm just going to start working my way through. I'm going to put on. I'll put on the walnut oil here in just a second. I just want to do one grit dry just to make sure it cleans up any any little little spots. And then we'll then we'll just use the wall oil. We don't have to put on the turn on the dust collector. After each grit, just wipe it off and then move on to the next one. All right, this is 600. The walnut oil dries, so I'm going to crank the lathe speed up about 2,000, just, just a little bit of heat, not too much. There we go. Yeah, just beautiful finish on it. I'm going to put some Pins Plus over the top of this, though. So let me grab that real quick. All right, now I'm going to put the Friction Poly Pins Plus over it. Shake this up, thing up really well. Put a little bit on your shop rag. Work it around with the lathe off for just a second. Around just a little bit. And it puts a nice glossy finish on it. So this is a poly uh, finish you can build up on it. So like right there I have, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little light spot or a dull spot right there. Then this is all glossy. So you just keep putting it on. There's another little dull spot right there. So I'm going to put on a couple more coats. It's already dry to the touch. It takes literally 10, 15 seconds to dry. Same process with the, the rest of the coats. Just put a little bit on a rag like that. The lathe off and turn it off. There we go. Yeah, just quick, easy, glossy finish, just like that. I'm going to put on 
probably a couple more coats and then uh, we will come back and take this off and then we're going to do the same thing to the other side all right there we go it is all dry so i'm going to go ahead and pull this off and we will or i will go ahead and put the other one on and i'm going to do the same thing i'm just going to shape it bring it down to the same diameter and then we'll come back and do the the hole for the or the dowel for to put them together all right i have that one done go ahead and take it off of here and you might notice i put a, a couple little washers on there to make it stand off a little bit because i didn't want to need to thread it all the way down to the end so there we go there are two halves to it let me go ahead so i have a little dowel here so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on it and the distance in the middle is 10 playing cards so I did look that up on the video I made and I looked it up it was eight years ago that I did it not five or six and this isn't mustard it's type bond too I'm just gonna put a little bit on there I don't need much these are going are actually pretty tight around like that Just a little bit on this side and glue them together there we go make sure that, that is all just like that. All right, I'm just gonna let that sit up and I wanna turn it so the grain is lined up on both sides. There we go. Let that set up for a little while and then we'll come back. There we go. Again, it is out of Bacote. It's two and a half inches in diameter and it works. That's a plus. <laughs> uh, so I did one of these. I went and looked at the video again. It was eight years ago the last time I, I did one. And in the video, I, when I had the halves on there, I didn't show how I mounted them on. And I'm sure it was like a bolt or something that I that I screwed them on with. But I, did, I never actually explained it in the video how I had the halves on. And so the with using the mandrel like that, it just it works out perfect it, you could screw it right on screw them off just like you're if you're making you know bottle stopper or something but it was a fun project andrew i hope that helped if you don't have a mandrel you could just simply get a small bolt like a 3816 bolt and cut that off and put that in your lathe too that would work to do something like this you just need a way to to hold on the the piece of wood while you're turning it and just bring up the tailstock if you're using just a regular bolt and don't have a way to tap it I would definitely you know make sure the tail stocks up but it the mandrel works fantastic all right hope you enjoyed the video if you are in the area northwest we have the oregon symposium coming up here in a couple weeks i we hope to see you there robin well and i will be there all weekend we're getting ready getting everything ready getting the booth set up so I hope to see you there. All right, take care. All right, there we go. It is all dry. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. Okay, cut. <laughs>